I just hope you're ready for me to get sidetracked this whole video. Fair morning. Cute intro. Mm -hmm. What it is, what's the most pop my Zay bags? And welcome, welcome back to the wonderful world of Zay. Yeah. Like to okay, so today I decided to do a video I've been thinking about doing for a very, very long time, but I couldn't do it because like I didn't have the products while I was on campus, so I'm gonna do it while I'm on break. And yes, I am on break for um Thanksgiving and Christmas and whatnot, and we don't go back till January 3rd. So yeah um <laughs> so today i'm going to be doing um as the title says clay mask and conversations so i'm gonna just be doing my little um what you call it for aztec clay mask which is my first time doing this so it's gonna be a learning experience for the both of us so yeah um i'm gonna be doing my little clay mask and we're just gonna be talking just about anything because i had a lot to talk about so yeah book club enjoy the ride I had like this little bowl thing, like a little plastic bowl thing I got from this company one time. Um, I'm pretty positive I left it at school. So what I'm gonna be doing, they said no glass, like what you call it, glass or not glass, um, what does it say, metal? Yeah, no metal. So I got this little plastic bowl, my little plastic bowl, and then I got my apple cider vinegar. Um, I have no measurements. I have no spoons either because we don't have any plastic spoons, so you know what? going with the flow we're just going with the flow child so let's get into this conversation child so i'm currently um out of school for the rake um currently i am in the process of finding work i've been applying what is stuff stink but um <laughs> i've been applying for jobs and whatnot um the usual i go through this every single break i mean every single break like it never fails so crossing my fingers to hear back from a job sooner rather than later um what else has been going on um i can really talk to you about my washington trip i did just get back from washington not too long ago too um it was actually very good it was such a my initial experience like i i met so many great people um, I didn't really get a chance to talk about it in like the vlog and stuff because the vlog was definitely all over the place. I can't admit that. Um, what aren't my vlogs all over the place though? So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I had a really, really good time. I met a lot of really, really good people. We still keep in contact to Zay. We in the little group chat. Poor. We are very much in tune with each other. I love being surrounded by a bunch of like black LGBTQ plus people because we don't have stuff like that on my campus yet. I'm very much implementing a lot of stuff. Uh, since I came back, it made me realize a lot of stuff, like not only about myself, but like about my school and stuff like that. So yeah, um, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to look like this. I watched the video too before I did this and I still don't know if I'm doing it right. It's posted. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty positive I'm supposed to be doing this with a, a spoon. We ain't got no spoon. So I'm doing what I got. I gotta get it how I live. They say do it until it's like a paste. So. It's a paste. I mean. I think. <laughs> I think. Alright, we're gonna apply this. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah. Hold on. No. I don't think that's thick enough. I don't like that. It's not thick enough. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah, no. I don't like that. We're gonna put more, um, what you call it up in there. I'm probably doing this all wrong. And y'all can tell me if I'm doing this wrong in the comments. But by the time this video is uploaded, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna already be done. The damage is very much gonna be done, so. I know for next time. I think I got it uh, to a good texture. I definitely needed a spoon, but we don't have a plastic spoon, so I gotta get it how I live. So my hands are clean. I washed them, I promise. So I'm just gonna kinda, you know, 
this is still very much like a runny <laughs> but like i put too much um actually i think this is a good texture i think i'm just over exaggerating i think i'm I, I think i'm just overreacting how does this get on my nose y'all seen that get on my nose um try anyways oh yeah i like this texture I already was over exaggerating before. I didn't know what I was talking about. Per usual. <laughs> per usual. So I was watching videos before I use this because like I be I be wanting to know exactly how to use stuff before I just get to doing stuff and then um fuck around and find out. So I'll, I'll kind of know what I'm doing, but like at the same time, when do I ever know what I'm doing? You know? <laughs> you know? So let me tell you about uh, this semester. So as, well, if you don't know, if you're new here, um, on my campus, I serve as the Student Union Activities Board President, which is the um, organization on campus which does the events. Basically, every single event that we have on campus is under my organization. So we plan stuff like um, spring fling, homecoming, um, any other like side event that we have on campus, that's us. So like I said, we did homecoming. So this is my first time um, actually being like in the forefront of homecoming and like, um, the actual planning planning process of homecoming like i was in sj my uh sophomore year which is the student government association um i was a part of that my sophomore year and that was interesting <laughs> very interesting but like i got surface level you know i was i wasn't really doing anything important for real because the position that I had didn't require me to do anything of importance. So I was just kind of, you know, there <laughs> in a sense. This is my first time being at the forefront of homecoming, like actually planning, planning and being part of the, uh, the inside or like getting the inside scoop. And let me tell y'all, planning a homecoming, especially at a HBCU, bitch that's all i can fucking say is, is bitch like it's so much that goes into it that like we like people don't know like as far as um budget as far as picking an artist as far as coming up with events and things of that nature it's so fucking much that goes into it like it's so much that people don't talk about or that people don't fucking know like, y'all, I don't think I can say too much, too much, because like, if you know, you know, but at the same time, all I'm going to say is get involved <laughs> because homecoming, a lot of people are complaining, like they'll complain about the artists, they'll complain about the events, they'll complain about this, they'll complain about that, but like at the same time... You're not involved, so therefore, if you're involved, you have to say so a lot of these things. You know what I'm saying? So I actually having a say so, and actually my my uh my opinion meeting something this year was very fun, very fucking fun. And this year we had uh for our concert we had Big Yavo and Trim. I mean, I made a whole homecoming vlog, so I mean, you can watch. Even though it didn't turn out how like I really wanted to for it because like I was very much busy as the fuck this homecoming, so like I didn't really get to have fun for real. Like I did at the same time I did it because I was working and I wasn't I wasn't even there for real. I was kind of happy because like I'm the one that made a lot of this stuff happen this year, and it, it kind of feels good knowing that my organization. Um, may shit shake or is the reason homecoming was like a success let me set my uh my timer i think it's like, i'm making a mess so 
I'm finna wait for this stuff to uh, dry. So this is what it look like right now. Yeah, so we gonna let her dry. We gonna talk a little bit. Honestly, life has just been very, very great. I can say that has been very, very great because bitch, I just came from fucking Washington for fucking free. Bitch, I just had a motherfucking free trip to Washington. This is my second time for free. Second time going for free. First time was in my school for uh, our, our alternative spring break. And this time was for the um, LGBTQ plus um, HBCU leadership summit, which was so fucking good. Like like I was saying before, it was so fucking good. But um, yeah, it's my second trip. I love Washington. First time I went there, I fell in love because I was like, girl, I feel at home. Washington feels like a second home to me. He was gonna me on first home, H Town, you know. Um, but Washington is more like a second home for me. Like I feel like I can get like a little mini house, something like that. Not in like DC, but probably in like Virginia. I could probably live in Virginia and like, you know, visit DC and shit like that, but it was so fun. Um, ten out of ten will recommend. I'm definitely going back soon, but on my own time and on my own dime. So school is out, so my videos might be like, I don't know, I don't want to say boring, but like, I may have to figure out like what the fuck to record because I don't want to keep doing the same videos and I have to stay consistent because like, uploading every single Sunday. It's actually been a lot easier than I thought it was going to be because before I did have a YouTube channel, but like I wasn't consistent at all, but like, I'm happy I'm consistent on this time around. Like I rebranded my channel and everything like that. So yeah. um. I actually like this rebrand a lot better. And I also rebranded my clothing brand. I should go shop uh Superstar Fake, you know, out now. Um I can't talk to y'all about what I'm working on though. I can't say too much, but I am currently working on an EP um and an album. The album is taking longer because I have a certain way I want it to sound and I don't want to release just anything or like any kind of album like you're just throwing together and shit like that. Like yeah, so it's gonna take a lot of time. And that's what a lot of y'all don't want to say about fucking music. That shit takes time. Like, if you want to make a good record, you have to take time. Instead of like, like, you can be that person that puts that music back to back to back to back to back. Okay, cute, but like, it's a good. Does it sound good? Like, decent? Is it something that you should be putting out? Like, people that put out music back to back to back to back, like, I'll pop them at the same time back and take it. It's fine. That's what I'm doing. Like, I'm trying to put out music because I know I'm not like no Beyonce or nobody like that or Rihanna that I can like, you know, take years off and come out with music anytime once and everybody's like, oh my gosh, but, like, I'm trying. It's just really, it's really, really hard. But I am coming out with music. I am coming out with an EP. It has six songs on it. That's all I can say. And it's called Closer to Love. Um, so yeah, that should be coming out soon. I have a song, a single off of that EP that I want to release soon. So, um, y'all know I'm not lying to y'all and making more music. So I really, really do love making music. I, I do love the support I'm getting with my music as well too. So if y'all are, um, listening, I love y'all down. That's one that I'm working on. Um, also being president of this organization on my campus, like it causes me to do a lot of work and I really fucking love it because I love being busy. Like being able to not be in my room. I love it because like I'm, I'm the type of bitch that I hate being bored. So like, mm -hmm. I, just, <laughs> I just don't like being bored. <laughs> I really wish I was the type of bitch that like my life was like a Lifetime movie, but it's not. Like my life is just regular, but I do love it because I get a lot of opportunities and stuff like that. I'm excited to go back to school again to see my friends and I'm also excited to start working so I can start telling y'all stories about my job and stuff like that. So. I think it's almost time for this stuff to come off my face. It's starting like, I think the way I did it, I put it on too thick. So like, it ain't gonna crack up like it's supposed to because I did it wrong. But you know, this is trial and error. This is my first time doing this. So, trial and error, trial and error, you know, trial and error. <laughs> so I, I know it's getting done because like, I'm trying to, trying to smile and the smile is not smiling because it's it's tight tight like a boot hole you know a few moments later this is what it's starting to look like now i don't know if you can see like the um 
the mini cracks and stuff. You can. You can. I definitely put a lot on. Like, I, I definitely put too much on. As far as... <laughs> It's definitely like thick in some spaces. But you know what? Like I said, you live and you learn. Don't play with it. I'm finna wash this off because I feel my face, you know, tightening up. And yeah, it's definitely time to wash it off. Definitely time to wash it off. All right. So we're gonna get this water room. And then we're gonna get it on and popping. You know? my face with my shea butter according to the um the youtube videos that i watched prior to doing this mask you don't want to put like chemicals and stuff in your face such as like your uh facial stuff like whatever you use to uh, wash your face at nighttime so you don't want to do that after just put like a uh, coke coconut oil i think she said yeah coconut oil is what one lady said and um somebody else also said like um, a light moisturizer or something. So, I'm just using shea butter because it doesn't have any chemicals or nothing in there. Um, it's like a natural moisturizer. So, it's also good for your hair. Yeah, it's also good for your hair and like just your skin in general, like your your face, your hands. Shea butter is um all purpose. You know, I'm a rob for shea butter. I put a lot on. That was too motherfucking much. Oh, uh uh. Oh, that was too much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now my face look all oily. Oh well. But, um. This is my face after the what you call it? The little mask. Honestly, I can say I, it was a drastic change. Probably over exaggerating. But, dead ass, I can see the difference. I can definitely see the difference because my face had a lot of little, you know, pimples and stuff on there on my forehead and it's kind of gone. So, lucky, lucky, it ate. And I'm just doing my little night, uh, night routine. I already brushed my teeth. I took a shower and everything already. This is after the fact. So, this is a little night routine. I brushed my teeth. Put my oils on my hair. Usually I wash my face, but tonight I did different because I'm going to try the um the clay mask. So after this, I'm gonna you know clean up and lay down. So and I really have nothing else to do for like the weekend or anything like that because again I'm on break and I haven't had got hired anywhere yet. So crossing my fingers for some. We have definitely reached the end of our video. So, until next time you want to step into my world, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss an upload. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye. And I apologize for this video being all over the place and rambling and stuff like that because, you know, if you're new here, this is what we do here. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye.